opportunity today to get to talk to you about positive actions from the Morgan County Partnership. Positive Action is an integrated and comprehensive program that is designed to improve academic achievement, school attendance, and problem behaviors such as substance use, violence, suspensions, disruptive behaviors, dropout. It is also designed to improve parent-child bonding, family cohesion, and family conflict. Morgan County Partnership's Positive Action Program focuses on 36 core value words. Each week we provide in-depth study of the meaning of these positive action values as well as applications and actions to take each week to build those values in our students. Positive action is categorized in different units that focus on a student's self-concept where we build self-confidence, value, and importance. Also on physical and intellectual wellness, looking at ways to keep healthy, and well. Next, building a student's intellectual wellness, looking at words to inspire brain development, curiosity, and inspiration for academics and individual interests and success. And finally, social and emotional wellness, looking at core value words like kindness, respect, empathy, sharing, integrity, patience, love, courtesy, all golden rule words that help build and unite a community at home, in the classroom, and in our neighborhood here in Morgan County. The Morgan County Partnership's Positive Action Program is entering its eighth season of delivering positive action character building education to Morgan County schools. Evolving with innovative media elements, Positive Action was initially delivered to two grades, fourth grade and fifth grade in 2014 for short 15 minute lessons. Now with PositiveValuesNetwork.com, Positive Action reaches 900 students in kindergarten through fifth grade with pre-K activities as well as things for students in other states across the country and those taking virtual homeschool as well. New to this year's Positive Action Program, we are implementing new content for teens. And this is being featured with Rotary's new program called Youth and Peace in Action. Building positive core values in teens is essential to laying a foundation for their individual academic success and promoting positive choices as well as the important social and emotional learning. Positive Action provides opportunity for students to evaluate their unique qualities and reinforces that they are a valuable asset to their community. Positive Actions for Teens allows students a chance to express their unique voices and to implement ideas for them to initiate creative programs in their own schools and community. Let's take a look at the importance of core values with this example of the possibilities of social initiatives when led by teens and the value when involved with these initiatives, how this opportunity can change their lives. Let's take a look. Youth social action has multiple benefits for young people, for your organization, and society as a whole. It's about empowering and supporting young people to help their communities and in turn themselves. But don't just take our word for it. Taking part in social action has been shown to lower levels of anxiety amongst participants by as much as 22%. There is also an association between involvement in social action and higher levels of well-being. Less worry, more happy faces. Involvement in social action has also been shown to improve attitudes towards education, raise empathy, increase grit and resilience, and improve cooperation. 
It can also enhance teamwork, communication and leadership skills. What's not to like? One study also found that young people who take part in social action are 27% more likely to find a job than those not participating. On top of this, 9 out of 10 agreed that youth social action had helped them develop useful skills for the future. Three quarters felt more confident about securing a job and 8 out of 10 felt capable of more than they realised. I'm pretty confident me. <laughs> positive action helps develop positive people and a brighter future for all of us. Getting involved in youth social action helps to improve a sense of community for everyone. Those who take part are more likely to volunteer in the future. But not everyone is getting the chance to be involved. You can help thousands more young people around the country to get involved, feel the benefits and be at the heart of building their communities. Together we can make a change. Together we can say, I will. So that looks really possum, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, our Morgan County Interact Club had the opportunity to apply positive core values to some positive actions in their community. Let's take a look at what they did. Hey, happy International World Peace Day! And special congratulations to Berkeley Springs High School for being featured this year. Uh, with so many other high schools from across the country. We're so proud of you guys. We're so happy to be a part of it this year. Can you tell us a little bit about what initiatives your Interact Club did to help bring peace and stronger communities while you were a student at Berkeley Springs? Yeah, of course. So the peace initiative that I'll be talking about today is our diversity, equity, and inclusion statement. So during last year, our group noticed that our county didn't have a diversity, equity, and inclusion statement written for our school systems. And of course, this is something that's very important that we address, not only in today's political climate, but just all around to show that we're really a place that values and takes care of each other. So we got together and we all worked with our school superintendent and a lot of other people in our community to write this statement. We're not a diverse county, we're not a diverse school, we're not a diverse town. So with a lack of diverse voices, we thought the best way to bring those voices to us is through a collection of books. So we were able to, um, with help from the Morgan County Partnership, who helps us with a ton in our county and is so helpful uh, to us, uh, we bought the Kindness Collection, which is about 48 books that went to three different schools. So both of the high schools in our county and Warm Springs Middle School. And they all have this sticker in them, which says, uh, Celebrate Diversity, Fostering Unity, Kindness Collection, Teen Edition. So these books range on a ton of different subject matters, including not just race, but immigration and mental health issues and LGBT issues and other issues um, with gender and things like that. That's really important to us because West Virginia does have the highest density of trans teens. And if we're not uh, diverse in a race way, we're diverse in that way. So they need to see that their voices are there too. Our Interact Club had a brainstorming session on how to build stronger communities and another creative element that came about was an idea from you, Garrett. Can you tell us a little bit about your idea to bring together and build peaceful communities? Yeah, so the idea I had was to create a cultural garden, a garden full, filled with plants from all over the world. Uh, I chose peppers, so peppers come from all over the world. There are many different colors, shapes, sizes, um, and it almost alludes to people because people come in all shapes and sizes and they come from all over the world. So um, it really speaks to you that plants and people kind of relate in that way. So as we're going off, the three of us are all heading into college in the fall. Uh, we have this peace plant that we are going to be passing off to all of the other students at Berkeley Springs High School they can carry on the tradition of making peaceful actions and positive change in our community. So Garrett, would you like to hand it off? 
So a little bit of history about this, this plant we have here today. Um, it was given to me by one of our, our teachers. Her name is uh, Miss Yost at the high school. Um, and when she gave it to me, it was only about this big. And now you can see over the, the, the three years afterward through high school how big it really had gotten. So uh, we'd like to pass that torch and that growth and, and even a little bit of change off to the next people that are down the line that'll be doing this hopefully next year. This year, the Morgan County Partnership is introducing a new program from the Rotary called Youth and Peace in Action. After Berkeley Springs High School was selected as a showcase school in the launch celebration on September 21st, International Day of Peace, students in grades 9 through 12 in Morgan County will join me, Mrs. Hott, for weekly Positive Actions Values Education again this year. We'll look at developmental assets and students' social and emotional wellness with new this year, a 20-hour mobile curriculum that is really exciting. It's developed by Outward Bound and New Gen Peace Builders that takes a look at the sources of conflict. I am so excited to see what new initiatives students will develop this year. Just look at how creative they can be when they're given the chance to express their opinions. Let's take a look at what YPA will offer our children here in Morgan County. Some of the world's most recognized peace leaders have long pointed to the potential of young people. Many people agree. Modern peace scholars identify youth as the missing piece if we want to build and sustain a culture of peace. And when 100,000 people in 15 countries were asked about their perceptions of where we should spend more to promote peace, they identified teaching peace in schools as a key path to progress. Yet frameworks, tools, and experiences to educate and equip young peace builders are not easily available. Youth and Peace in Action, or YPA, is an exciting initiative to help fill the gap. YPA focuses on making peace education, training, and mentoring widely available and accessible to high school students and teachers, along with youth service club members and advisors. YPA goes live on September 21st, 2021, the International Day of Peace, with a live stream introductory event focused on energizing and engaging young people as peace builders. The event will last one hour, be hosted by young peace builders, mix live stream and pre-recorded content, and be available during the school day and for rebroadcast. YPA activators at participating high schools and youth service clubs and organizations will issue a call to action and make available digital codes to join an innovative, interactive YPA online platform that guides peace education content and experiences available throughout the school year. The visionary presenting sponsor of YPA is Rotary Zones 33 and 34, a geographic area that spans states in the Mid-Atlantic and Southeastern U.S., Washington, D.C., the Caribbean, and parts of South America. Peter Kyle, Rotary International Director for Zones 33 and 34, and former chair of the Rotary Peace Centers, announced support for YPA as a bold initiative that has become the largest local peacebuilding initiative in Rotary International's 100-year history as an advocate for conflict resolution and peace. 22 districts in Zones 33 and 34 joined in with foundational, financial, and volunteer support. Rotarians in District 6860, North and Central Alabama, have joined in too. The implementing organizations are New Gen Peace Builders and Outward Bound Peace Building, where two Rotary Peace Fellows are senior leaders, Patricia Schaefer and Anna Patel. Thanks to this broad collaboration, access is free for participants accepted into YPA before things officially get underway on International Peace Day. After the kickoff, everyone has the opportunity to benefit from an innovative, interactive, desktop and mobile-friendly platform designed with peace education content, case studies of young peace builders, their projects and their impact, exciting challenges to promote and make peace, and the opportunity to engage with a growing community of young peace builders to share ideas and opportunities to make a difference. The experience includes certificates that recognize completion of key learning and experiential milestones. The core content is a course called My Peace Builder Foundations that can be done individually on one's own time. Over about 20 hours, the modules cover a framework of hello and hope, harm, 
healing, heart, head, and hands. Every module involves self-reflection activities, like looking in a mirror, gaining new knowledge, like peering through a window, and interactive exercises, like walking through a door into a new world of peace building. My Peace Builder Foundations also incorporates key peace building tools, including Galtung's Triangle of Violence to distinguish different types of violence, the Conflict Tree to get at the root cause of an issue, the Eight Pillars of Peace to understand systemic drivers of positive peace, and the Unleash Framework for Peace Project Ideation, Design, and Development. The YPA online platform was developed through a collaboration with experienced learning management designers. The courses are powered by Nugent Peace Builders based on eight years of live and virtual peace education and training workshops led and facilitated by peace practitioners and trained mentors. The courses include assessments as well. The content is useful for other class research, papers, and capstone projects. And additional resources are available in the online platform for those who want to learn even more about peace building. Imagine what this could mean. The average U.S. high school population is 1,334 students. 40 is the average membership of a youth service club or organization, and many high schools have four or five active student organizations. If only 10% of these students in participating high schools complete the My Peace Builder Foundations course and learn from any of the challenges, case studies, or community interactions, well, you get the idea. YPA makes it possible to start learning to be a peace builder and sets in motion the interest and engagement of thousands of students in building and sustaining a culture of peace. But wait, there's even more. Any student who successfully completes My Peace Builder Foundations and receives a certificate may have an opportunity to continue with leading peace building teams. This is for small groups of students who want to lead other students. For instance, members of student clubs in a team action peace project related to ideas that might have come up through My Peace Builder Foundations. In fact, youth-led peace projects are a sweet spot of the YPA initiative. Students often care about community issues such as bullying, domestic violence, education inequity, gun violence, homelessness, human trafficking, hunger, and more. There will be a growing catalog of peace project case studies in the online platform. Students can get inspired and imagine peace projects independently. Leading peace building teams is for those young leaders who want to more fully develop team leadership and project management skills and guide other students to put peace projects in action. Quality peace projects can position students very competitively for university awards, scholarships, and other recognition. For community sponsors and service club advisors who want to mentor, there is a Guiding Young Peace Builders online and virtual training opportunity. At the end of the journey, accomplishments and results will be profiled in the YPA online platform and in virtual or in-person get-togethers called the United Celebration. Do education leaders and teachers see value in YPA? Comments provided from schools that have applied for YPA 21-22 indicate yes, very much so. So, spread the word. Encourage local high schools and youth service clubs and organizations to take advantage. Get creative in your outreach. Who are the education administrators, teachers, counselors, or advisors who might be interested? Where are your connections with Interact Clubs, Student Government Associations, Model UN, UNICEF chapters, YMCA youth, boys and girls clubs, in schools, or in the community? YPA is easy to share with a content and experience overview brochure, a one-page flyer, and the online application at www.youthpeaceaction.org. And it's students who have been through a quality peace education experience who are the first to ask us to support youth and peace in action. Here's what Lexia Giannopoulos has to say. Hello everyone, I'm Lexia Giannopoulos and I'm currently a senior in North Carolina. In ninth grade, I began my peace building journey when I became a certified peace builder. In the past three years since being certified, I've mentored and participated in projects focusing on the environment, youth homelessness, and my most recent project revolving around student immigrant mental health. In addition, I've learned how to make my community more peaceful in day-to-day -day life, such as how to have conversations with someone who has differing opinions, and not only how to respect their views, but also how to learn from them. 
For everyone listening today, you have the chance to open the same doors for youth in your community. So I hope you will reach out to your schools in your area and begin their journey with YPA. Thank you. Thank you, Morden County Partnership Coalition, for listening to this year's program from Positive Actions with Youth and Peace in Action. Today, they're taking care of Pete the Peace Plant using positive action. Let's see what they'll come up with new this year as students discover that their voice is important in our community.